When using processing, there are two main sections to your code. The first is void setup, and the second is void draw. This is going to be very similar to the way that Arduino also functions. The Arduino program instead will have a void setup and then a void loop. So do, what do we put in each of these sections? In void setup, you can write the size of the screen that you want to create. So the first number is going to be the x value and the second number is going to be the y value. For example, if I put 200 and 600, what I'm going to create is a screen the size of 200 on the horizontal axis and 600 on the vertical axis. Let's try it out. And here you can see that's exactly the shape that I got. Next, let's create a background color. The default is gray. However, you can change it to white by typing in the number 255 or black by typing in the number 0. So here we have white or alternatively black or any number in between. These will all be shades of gray. So for example 150 is kind of a medium shade of gray. What if you want the background to be a specific color? Well, you would need to know the color code for it. So since you probably don't have that memorized, let's go to Tools, Color Selector, and pick a color that you like. Let's do a pale blue. Notice that the red, green, and blue values are indicated here with numbers ranging from 0 to 255. You can also use the hex code down here. If you copy the hex code, you can paste it into the background. Now when you press background, it'll be that nice blue color. Now let's start drawing. By typing in the word stroke, you're creating the line that you will draw with. We're going to use 0 as our number to create a black line, but just like before, you can change that to a different number and have different colors of the line. Next, we're also going to indicate the stroke weight. This will change how thick your line is. Let's start with 2. So let's create an actual line. The first numbers in the series are the x and y coordinates where the line will begin, and then the second two numbers are the x and y coordinates where the line will end. So let's just use the same example from here. And let's see what happens. Actually, uh, one thing you want to be careful of is that the numbers do have to be within the range of your size, otherwise this line will go outside of the picture that you've created. As you can see, it, it is uh, um, actually going off the screen a little bit. So let's change this to 150. And uh, let's actually change the color of our line just for fun. Let's use color selector make it a nice dark purple. And see what happens. There we go. So we're actually still going off of our screen a little bit. So let's change this number to 50. Interesting. Okay, that made it go straight down. Uh, let's change it to 75. There we go. So just to kind of understand a little bit about what these coordinates mean, they're the x and the y values. It starts in this upper left corner of 0, 0. So we're saying x goes over by 50 pixels and then y goes down by 25 pixels. That's the beginning of our line. Then we went over to 75 and down to 150. That is the end point of our line. Now let's add some additional shapes. If you want to create something like a square or rectangle, the command is rect. The first numbers will be the top left corner of the rectangle, 
followed by the height and the width. So let's make a square by making the height and the width the same amount. Beautiful. Notice it did cover over our previous line because the x and y values overlap. Also, the inside of our rectangle is a default of white. If we want to give it a color, we have to create another command called fill. The fill has three different numbers. The first number is for red, then green, then blue. So you can actually type in the numbers that you want. For example, if you wanted a red square, by typing in 255, that's the brightest red you can get, and leaving the green and the blue as zero, you'll have a red square. If you want to make it purple, simply add some numbers to the blue. Now that's a little bit more magenta than purple, so let's uh, decrease our red. There you go, nice and purple. Alternatively, you can use the same color selector as before. And let's make it a green square. There you go. If you want to use uh, the command for a circle or an ellipse, the command is ellipse. The first two numbers are going to be the xy coordinates of the center of this figure. And then similarly, it's going to be the width and the height. So let's start by making our figure at uh, 100 and 150. That'll be the center. And then let's only make it a small circle. You can see it's much smaller than our rectangle. Also notice that it uses the same colors that you previously designated. So purple for our stroke and green for our fill. But you can change that anytime you want. So let's make the fill for this one red. With these few commands, you can create as many different drawings as you want. So this original drawing here, you can see is much larger. It was 800 by 800 pixels. And you can see that we had two different lines that were black, followed by a red rectangle, a green circle, a blue square, and finally a purple ellipse. 